people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first part of the video is called Sorry for Maga Dog, them turn around and them bite you. Now people, this is an update about a story that I did yesterday, 24 hours ago, in which I spoke about a lady and her name is Miss Oakley Atkinson Price, more affectionately known as Mama. And people, based on the information, it is said that Mama was taken out on Wednesday, maybe about estimated time, 6 something, 6 15, and I am going to tell you exactly why I said that time. Based on information, it is said that she was joke jo up, limb limb up, and also them jump over her fence. Them violate her in the worst way. Now, people, when I did that video, I said that residents in the community, they are saying that it has to be somebody that is very familiar with this lady because the truth and the fact is that she lives in an isolated area and she is well be known. Nobody is going to come to that area and basically violate anybody based on the type of neighborhood or community that it is. Now, people, this is based on information that is coming from the husband. And let me clarify, husband. When I spoke about this lady yesterday, I said that she is alone and she was married. However, it seems as if that relationship did not work out. However, the husband went to the power power station after the incident happened and he made a report and I am going to tell you exactly what he had to say. Now, people, the husband's name is Mr. Ralston. Don't know the last name. This is based on information that I am getting. Confidential information. Based on information from the husband, it is said that he spoke to his wife, Mama. And Mama was telling him that she, is, she has a chicken business, which everybody knows. She is very well known in the community for raising chicken, selling chicken, giving away chicken to people in the community. And people, she's also the type of person that takes care of other children or persons in the community that are not doing so good um, financially. So therefore, we are speaking about a person that is respected, a person that gives a lot. She has a lot of charity, rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now, people, when I spoke about her yesterday, I said that she lives alone. She and the husband separated. However, it seems as if... The husband and her, they are still in good terms. They still communicate. They just don't live together because them really have some sort of problem. You know what I mean? People can be friends. However, they cannot be in relationship. So it seems this as if that is where that stands as it pertains to Ralston and Mama. So anyways, Ralston said he spoke to Mama at about four something on um, Wednesday. She called him and he, they were... She said that she was raising chicken or he knows that she's raising chicken and she needed a bigger fridge. She told him that she wants a bigger fridge. However, she only has like $40,000 cash. So if he can make up with the cash so they can buy the fridge. So anyway, Ralston went out and he sourced the fridge and he told mama, all right, don't worry. I am going to put the balance. I am going to send the fridge to a certain point and then you pick it up at a certain point. Ralston, which is the husband, he went out and he bought a fridge. When he bought the fridge, he sent the picture to Mama on WhatsApp and they made arrangements. He said that he called back Mama at about five something. When he was talking to Mama for a little while, at about 6.15, he heard Mama say, Hold on the Ralston, somebody's outside. And then when she realized who that person was outside, Ralston said he heard her say, Hold on the Junior, my soon come. People, Junior is a helper. Junior is a helping hand for this lady. This lady raised chicken. She plant all sorts of um, potato and all sorts of stuff. As a matter of fact, Ralston said that when he spoke to Mama, she said that she just planted 200 head of yam. People, if you come from country, you know exactly what that is. If you live in a certain area and you plant yam, each of the things that you plant is called a head of yam or a hill of yam. So therefore, she planted two, two, 200. So people, we are talking about a hard-working lady. We are speaking about a person that is definitely independent. 
So anyways, Ralston said that when he heard, um, she said to Jonia, Jonia, my soul come, like me say, Jonia help with her, Jonia helps her, Jonia feed the chicken them, Jonia feed the cow, Jonia feed the dog, the puss, whatever is there. Jonia is familiar with the place, Jonia is a helping hand. He said that this was about 6.15. They hung up the phone. Him said afterwards, him start call back mama. This is Ralston, the husband, separated husband. He lives in Montego Bay, as a matter of fact. He said when he started to call back mama, he was not hearing anything. And he was surprised because they were sp speaking about the fridge. And then the call was interrupted by Junior when Junior arrived at the house. And like me said, Junior is always around. He is familiar with Junior. Junior is mama's helping hand. Helper or whatever you want to call it. Little gopher. So people, he said that he did not hear from her in the night, none at all. He was calling her several times. Phone no answer. Phone no ring. Rete, Lele. So he said, this is not like her. This is not the type of way that she operates. Whenever he calls her, she usually answer. However, based on the fact that he said that she told him that she planted 200 head of yam or whatever them call it. He figured that she might have had a rough day. So therefore she was tired. She was exhausted. Now people, it is also said that the other picnic them, their other children, they called. And then there's also a son that lives in Canada. He also called. And when he called her in the night, he did not get her. He called her in the morning. He never get her. He said, hold on. This is not like mama. Mama always answers the phone. Even if mama tired, she is going to answer the phone as soon as them call. So therefore, they figured or they had some sort of inclination that something was wrong. So anyways, people, based on the information, it is said that the son in Canada called somebody and they went to the house. And when they went to the house, they saw some red stuff I see through some place. So people, it only shows you the degree of how much red was running from mama. So them say when them open, try the door, try the window, everything locked. So that was kind of strange. The door locked, but nobody is inside. Them a knock on the door, them a knock on the window, them a shout out her name. Nobody is answering the door, them locked. So anyways, they decide that they are going to open the door by force. And people, when them open the door by force, they were shocked because people, I have those pictures of what it looked like. People, the whole floor, the furniture, the fan, everything red up. So you know exactly what I am speaking about. This is YouTube used on a common sense. So anyways, based on the information, it is said that the people them start to search for Junior because they must say, hold on a minute. This happened Wednesday, maybe about six something. Thursday morning, when them find the body, they might try to get in contact with Junior. Junior not the home. Junior not answer him phone. Junior has not showed up. Based on the information, it is said that Junior has been MIA since that. So therefore, the poor poor look for him. The people and the resident them. Them I think about all sorts of Tarzan and Jane justice because like me say, Mama is a person that does a whole lot of stuff for her children. Other people in the neighborhood. She's a Christian lady. She has no sorts of mix up. No sorts of passa passa with any, anybody. None at all. Therefore, the chances are, the possibilities are, nobody is going to want to do anything to her. No matter how evil it is. No matter if you're there, whatever, she, wherever she lives. And I take where people live. She is the last person. She basically would have immunity. So people, this leads me back to the point that I am going to make. And this is why I've always said, sorry for Marga Dog, Marga Dog, turn around and bite you. Now people, remember, Mama, she hired Junior. Mama, she feed Junior. Mama, she shelter Junior. Whatever finances that Junior has, whatever family that Junior has, whatever woman that Junior has, a mama money a basically pay for their living, their lifestyle. So therefore, Junior should be the last person that would think or have any chance of basically if that coming at Junior head, 
Junior supposed to erase that out of him head and say, Impossible, there is no sort of way. But people like I've always said, it is persons that you know that have the most possibility of hurting you. Because your enemies, they don't know anything about you. However, your friends, your family, they know everything. They know all your secret. They know your whereabouts. They know exactly what you're going to do. Because you sit down and you talk with them. You break bread with them. So people at the end of the day, Junior obviously take with this lady. Unless when them take with mama, them take with Junior. However, why is it that mama's body was in her house? And Junior, no sort of B-L-O-O-D from Junior. Whatever forensic that them do, them realize, uh, listen, a mama alone thing there. So therefore, more than likely, a Junior, Junior is a suspect. Junior is a person that is more than likely responsible for whatever happened to mama. Based on the fact that Junior missing from then. Junior was always around. Junior was always feeding the puss, the dog, the cow, the chicken them. That is his job. So therefore, since Junior and since the incident, none of them not get feed. So people, tell me if that is not obvious that Junior is the key suspect. And Junior should get any sort of thing that he gets. Because people, when you're so wicked, when you pray on people that help you out, when you stab people at the back that basically help you out, whatever you get, nothing is too bad for you. Anything you get are that you deserve. So people, I say this to say that. And I am speaking to people living in Jamaica. Be very careful who you help. Be very careful who you keep around you. Because obviously in this case, we see say, it is all about envy. It is all about jealousy. It is all about bad mind. Because more than likely, Junior might have heard the conversation when Mama said, I have $40,000. Junior knows that Mama have all sorts of chicken in the fridge. Junior knows that Mama have this and Mama have that. And even though what Mama has, he was gaining from it. He was one of the beneficiaries from it. People, it seems as if he was carrying feelings all along. It seems as if Junior did a bad mind Mama all along because he saw that Mama is progressive. He saw that Mama is loved. He saw that Mama is respected. And deep within his soul, he knows, listen, I am nothing and people are truth. And the fact is that don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. You can be doing very bad and still have good ways. I am not saying that everybody that is not financially stable is like that because of the truth and the fact is that some of the most humble and good-hearted people that I know are just like that. So me just as say, Junior was just waiting. Junior was like a ticking time, B-O-M-B. -B, and people, he got the opportunity. He couldn't take it anymore. So therefore, in take out mama, point blank and period. So people at the end of the day, like me say, the community are look for him and the poor poor are look for him and whenever them get him, we are talking about swift justice, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.